I think that when I came here, I was driven by a great ambition, a personal ambition, to understand more about the natural world in, in, in my case. And I was fiercely determined to realise that ambition. That's what brought me to this university. It wasn't a random process. I wanted to come to Southampton. I wanted to work with the people who were here at that time. And what I left with uh, to accompany those, those two things was the ability that I needed to recognise and, 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 and fulfil that ambition. I learned my trade here. I brought all together, I brought together all of the things that I'd, I'd previously been thinking about but not joined up myself. And it was the skill of the teaching here which enabled me to do that. A little later I realised that that ambition that I had uh, manifest from such a young age wasn't about me, it was about what I wanted to achieve. And that's a far wider thing. You know, I want personally the world to be a better place for all life, human and all of the other animals. You know, my job will never be done. I know that. And I think that for many graduates who come here, um, you know, they might have personal milestones. This is one, when they graduate, they'll tick that off, but it's not the end of the road. The road is endless, and you have to continue to work to realise what you want to achieve on this planet in your short tenure um, throughout the course of your life. And that means changing your ideals, changing your plans, recognising new directions, keeping your mind open, constantly learning, asking, questioning, and ultimately never being content and satisfied. And that's the way I operate, really. I don't want to sit down. I want to carry on and get jobs done.